Okay, you've written a culture statement that captures the essence of your culture and you've elected to adopt a culture. Great! But what are you doing to reflect your culture? For example, let's say you've defined a board culture by stating that you want to be a culture defined by work, excellence, accountability, and teamwork. But how is your board reflecting the cultural facets in their work, speech, policies, and most importantly, their behavior? If I walked into your board meetings, how would I be able to see that your board culture that you defined is visible and alive? If a board is serious about adopting a culture, then it needs to be authentic in the ways that it reflects the culture they defined. Take time to check in with your culture and ask, are we reflecting the culture we defined? and what could we do better to reflect our culture? When you can consistently see and hear the culture you define manifested in people's work and words, you know your culture is alive and well. Your culture is just as important as your mission and vision. It defines who you are, what you stand for, and what you believe. Defining a culture will take some effort, that's for sure but nurturing it and keeping it front and center in the minds of board members and staff members will take even more work. This is all the more reason why you should make time on occasion to celebrate your culture. It's a defining component of your organization and it's important for all those connected with your nonprofit to express the joy for the ethos that binds people together and unites them to a common purpose. Celebrating your culture does not have to be complicated or time consuming. Simply choose a few times throughout the year to express your pride and appreciation for the beliefs, standards, and values, and even behaviors that define the great organization you care so much about. There are lots of things you can do to celebrate your culture. For example, you can host a party with staff, board, and volunteers. Have an award that acknowledges a team of people who have best modeled your culture. Give out an award for the best idea to celebrate your culture, or create a culture appreciation day. I'm sure you and your team can think of many more ideas, but what's most important is spending time to celebrate the essence of what unites the hearts and minds and actions of all those connected with your noble mission that you're trying to fulfill. Well, that's it for today. In the next episode, the final episode in this series on culture, I'll leave you with a summary of some of the most important points I've covered. Until then, Create a great day. Hoo-ya! location that's one way to ring in <coughs> the morning while you're camping hey and let's uh, join me next show when we're gonna be ringing in more tips and tactics on how you can help your nonprofit do what's right not what's convenient or easy Noah what do you have to say well you know the key to bell ringing is the key to nonprofits which is a good goal a good team and effective management create a great day Hoo-yah! <laughs> <laughs>